Yeah. All right, Matt, tell them what we're doing this on. All right, I challenged Max and Ryan to think of three examples of the worst movies by their favorite actors. I'm pretty sure Max and I are going to have a similar one. I picked, I picked different than you would pick. Okay, I'll go ahead and start it off. Okay. With it. Batman and Robin by George Clooney. <laughs> Obvious. Did you pick that one? I mean, yeah, I would have. <coughs> That's the... That, the problem with Batman and Robin, is, and you can throw Batman Forever into it too, although I really like Jim Carrey in it, but the problem with that movie is, especially for people our age, is that when we saw it when we were kids, we probably didn't realize, like, that's that's when I realized that a movie could be good or bad, you know? That's, you know, do you guys have a movie where you, like, realize that, wait a second. Yeah, I think that's a good point. You know, like, before that, you're so excited to see a movie, the actual movie theater, you know? Yeah, it's a big deal to see a movie. And then, Batman and Robin is right at that age when you can start to sort of look at a movie and be like, wow, that was just a big waste of time. Yeah. How old were we when that came out? I don't know. It's all of art for me. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And I like George Clooney. That's why it's so bad. It's, you know, George Clooney was like, well, I'm playing Batman. Who cares if it sucks? Yeah. 97. 13 years old. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good point, Matt. Well, that, yeah. that kind of opens up my first one, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Batman and Robin. Yeah. Classic. I mean, yeah. and, and George Clooney has had other bad movies, like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, but it's still kind of good. Arnold Schwarzenegger's had bad movies, Last Action Hero, but they're kind of good because they're so bad. Last Action Hero's bad? Oh. No. Oh, oh. no. <coughs> Sorry. It's good. Sorry, I thought it was terribly stupid. That's just me. Alright, I actually did... I know I wasn't supposed to... What? Is that, is that last action hero where he kills the guy by pushing his nose bone up into his face? Or in his brain? You're thinking yeah, of... Probably. He's a badass. You're thinking of Kansas City News. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of my baby video. <laughs> Whoa, dude. What? Always have to bring up... What in the world does that even mean? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go with, it's kind of the similar theme, but a different thread. And it has to do with George Clooney also, but um, Ocean's 13, which is a terrible movie. But I was thinking of it more of director, Soderbergh, Steven Soderbergh, is one of my favorite directors. I don't know why he did that film. Well, it's a third, and thirds are always horrible. Except for Spider-Man. Especially Spider-Man. See, I think the is that the second one in that trilogy is, was the worst, and people kind of like the third one, I thought. Well, I... the second one and third one are really kind of the same boat. They kind of blend in with me. Yeah. But second one, I was willing to give a chance and had an open mind. Third one, I was like, what are they, how are they going to redeem this? And she's done a lot of, like, Solaris, um, Out of Sight. Uh, the new one he's doing, uh, Haywire, looks awesome. Just, he's kind of a pretty on director, and that was a pretty off movie. And all the... There's a bunch of big actors in that. Yeah. So it works for a lot of them. It's one of the most epic movie fails. <laughs> Along the most epic, I'll do another one, John Travolta in, of course... Grease. Grease. It's terrible yeah. trash. Agreed. You what? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You no. Fish. Have you ever seen Grease? This even, why does that car float off at the end? That doesn't even make yeah, any sense. It's shitty, shitty, bang, bang. I don't get What's it. What's going on there? It's stylish. You could have picked, oh, God, what's that one movie? Um, no, I think you're thinking of Grease. Scientology. <laughs> Battlefield <laughs> Earth. Oh, wait, no, I was thinking of Grease. Yeah, they're aliens. And... <laughs> Battlefield Earth was the worst, one of the worst movies ever. All right, Matt, what's your next one? Well, I don't want to talk to you guys until you apologize about Grease. That's not going to happen. Now, Grease 2 was good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go bowling. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, I picked Land of the Lost by Will Ferrell. Yeah, that's a good one. There's a couple of Will Ferrell movies that I think for a while he was like, I'll just pick a, you know, studio executives were like, let's pick a fringe sport and have Will Ferrell make a movie about it, you know? Yeah. Our NASCAR. That one's good, though. And then he made Semi-Pro, and that was sort of the beginning and the end, I think, for Will Ferrell. I think your real problem here is having any 
trust or love for Will Ferrell movies. I mean, well, for a while there, everything he touched was gold. I think he's still he's still pretty gold. He's I mean, okay. I don't know. He would never be anywhere near my favorite actors. Well, I really like Will Ferrell a lot. Um, I loved, I loved uh, Ricky Bobby. I loved Talladega Nights. I loved, uh, I loved um, his dramatic roles that he's done. Even I even love those. But Land of the Lost was just so bad. And they, I think they knew it. I think they knew it as they were making it. Yeah. By like, right the middle of the movie, they're like not even into it. I had such high hopes for that movie. I don't know why. I did too. I was like dinosaurs and Will Ferrell and uh, Danny McBride. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be cold. And who's the girl? Michelle Monaghan, right? I don't know. Love her. Um, Love her. All right. Next all right. one, Drews. All right. Speaking of Michelle Monaghan, um, I think that was her. If not, then forget it. But uh, was it Zoe Duchel? Mission Impossible Two. Oh. Tom Cruise. Now I haven't seen any. Of the, I hadn't seen any of Mission Impossible's until very recently, and I watched one, two, and three together, so I could go see the fourth one. And Mission Impossible Two is, yeah, is embarrassingly horrible. Yeah, and go back and look at Tom Cruise's movies. He's he's almost a hundred percent. He's a good, solid, solid actor. Good to great movies, and that's maybe his worst movie. Michelle Monaghan, of course, is his wife in the third one. So. That's oh, I, she's not the second one. Her. No, she's not in the second one. She's the wife in the third one. Yeah. Anyways, pretty bad. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I can't remember my third one. Matt, go ahead. Uh, my last, my last one is I also put I also thought Mission Impossible Two was terrible. Just so you know. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with just because of expectations. I'm gonna go with Benjamin Button by Brad Pitt. That I'm, movie is so boring. Go back and watch it. There's so much cool stuff they could have done, you know, because you hear the idea and you're like, oh yeah, I guess he, go, he goes backwards. That's a cool idea. That's a pretty um, bold pick. I don't think it's boring. I mean, it's slow paced, definitely, but that's how it is when you're southern and growing young. It's a pretty good movie. It's a good movie, man. It's the Forrest Gump of our generation. <laughs> it's nowhere near Forrest Gump. I didn't love it, but I mean, it's pretty good. That's a. When John Waters came to KU and like, yeah. All he did was talk trash on Forrest Gump. Yeah, I do remember that. Sorry that people out there want to make money and want to make movies that make people happy. Sorry, John Waters. Yeah, he just he spent the whole time trashing Forrest Gump. It was weird. And Matt got really upset. I've never told anybody else that I was until just this minute. Matt, Matt, Matt cries. Out. Matt, I was with you. Matt cries when Forrest Gump comes on TV. And, and they edit out the sad parts. <laughs> no, they do not. TBS, very funny. We're going to be so much better next week. We're going to be live from Chicago. Not really live, but we're going to be all together in Chicago. It's gonna, we're going to film so many good stuff. Oh, my God, can we stop? Can we stop? It's the worst podcast ever. Where?